So you're going to want to boil your onions. Hear me out. So caramelized onions, it's a great topping. It's one of my favorite toppings for burgers, honestly. That, along with some boiled mushrooms, mm, man, you don't get any better. But to make caramelized onions, it's a time investment. I mean, for me, I'm going to at least do four small or medium-sized, like, yellow onions. And then I like to chop them, like, root to stem in half, not, like, halfway across the center. And then just slice them down to get even slices. I always use a cast iron pan. I have the pan preheated on the stovetop. And I put a medium heat. I usually let it preheat for about 10 minutes or so. I'm going to toss in a little bit of olive oil, usually about a half teaspoon per onion. And then you just need to add your onions. I mean, ah, I love making caramelized onions. So then we're just going to stir them up for a little bit. My edges are burnt. I mean, that's because my pan gets lightning hot. And all we're going to do is turn the heat down. And after about 10 minutes, we're going to add a little bit of salt. Now, as far as the salt, I've seen some people recommend a half teaspoon per onion. Now, I... Now, personally, I just did one teaspoon of salt. Uh, these were half teaspoon measurements here. Then you continue stirring for about another 45 minutes or so. Uh, you need to cook caramelized onions for about an hour to get like a true caramelized onion. Now, there are some tricks to making it quicker, but you just end up with a worse caramelized onion. Now, what if we can make something that's different, has a lot of similar tastes, uses less oil, less salt, and is quicker? introducing boiled onions. Now, people have already been making boiled onions for quite some time. This isn't brand new. Um, there's a lot of different recipes for different variations of boiled onions for different things. Now, I was trying to see if there's any health benefits to the boiled onions, and I found one article that said that they were a great source of dietary fiber, carbohydrates, and they fight diseases, but that was from something that was from dental health, so I don't know how accurate that was. Now, I'm not saying to just throw your onions into some boiling water and boil them down. I mean, there is a little bit of a process here, but it is really simple. So I'm going to prep my onions the same way. I'm just going to chop them root the tip, peel, and then slice them long ways. Now I'm going to slice up four onions, toss them into a dry pan in slow motion, then cover with about a half cup of water per onion. So here I'm going to be using about two cups. Now as far as salt, I only used half the salt. Half of a teaspoon is all I needed for this. Now I'm just going to kick this on a high heat and allow this to come up to a boil. Now if you were making caramelized onions, you're going to have to sit on this pan for, I mean, I would say the next 45 minutes. Every five minutes or so, you're going to be having to stop by and like give it a stir and take a look at it and just constantly moving it around. And it really is like a time consuming it's a time-consuming thing for being a condiment. And as you might have noticed by this point, this shot hasn't changed, and I haven't touched this pan. So for the next, like, 20 minutes or so, you can walk away from this and just let this boil all the way down. Now, you can use this time to start prepping some other ingredients, but I'm going to use this time to tell you about today's sponsor. So do you ever feel like your experience is holding you back from pursuing the career that you want? I felt like that was the experience I had when I was trying to get my foot in the door in social media. And that's why I am super excited to partner with Southern New Hampshire University. Today's sponsor. SNHU has one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country. They feature over 200 degree programs focused on getting you started in or advancing in a career that you'll love. Now, if you're like me, one program I think you're really going to love is SNHU's social media marketing degree. In this program, you'll learn how to leverage social media to engage consumers, build loyalty, and drive business. This is a great program if you want to be a content creator, community manager, or social media strategist. And you're also going to learn other vital digital marketing skills such as SEO, and how to run an advertising campaign. I knew nothing when I started, and it took me years to acquire the information, and programs like what SNHU is offering would have really helped. And if you started college and never finished, SNHU will let you transfer up to 90 credits so you don't have to start over. That's up to 75% of a bachelor's degree and 33% of a master's degree. And SNHU is radically affordable. So if you have a nine to five job that you hate, you wanna make a career switch into social media marketing, head over to snhu.edu slash saustache or click the link in the description below. SNHU, thanks for sponsoring today's video and providing an extraordinary experience for people to educate online. And we're back. So the onions have pretty much, they've boiled down. It's been 20 minutes. So at this point, all we're going to do is just kind of stir them up to boil off the rest of that water. And then we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. Now, like I said, little bit. The other one we used about a half teaspoon per per onion. Here, we're going to be using about a half of a teaspoon. That's it. The heat can go down the low, and then at this point, you can just simmer these how they are on low until the rest of your food is ready. But from here, they're ready to go, and they look 
awesome. I'm telling you, this is going to be really good. So now I want to plate these up and you can see the difference between the two. The caramelized onions definitely are caramelized and the boiled onions are not, but you're going to get a really strong onion taste from them and they're going to be nice and salty and savory and they're going to be a huge addition to just about anything you add. And the boiled ones, they might even pop a little bit more. So I'm going to toss them on some Beyond Burgers that I just threw in the pan. Now, I, I thought I had some regular buns, but I didn't and I just had some of these frozen. So don't get on me about the buns <laughs> they still worked now i like to top the onions on my burgers pretty heavy i really enjoy the taste of these but i'm also not adding any other condiments i just want to see which one monica likes which one which one she thinks is the best now i will say one bonus about the boiled onions is it's more condiment like it's actually kind of spreadable so you could actually you can spread this on like a bagel or toast or, or really just about anything and it's going to make it really good caramelized onions okay cheers <laughs> Good. Tastes like a Beyond Burger with caramelized onions. Mm hmm Definitely gives it some, like, extra savoriness, mm -hmm. you know? Mm hmm I like it. Mm hmm We know caramelized onions are a good burger topper. Mm hmm Try out my new okay. burger topper. Cheers! Cheers! Mm. Mm. This has a lot more flavor. It really does. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It does it have like a buttery, the texture's a little softer, mm -hmm. but it's really nice. It's almost like a creamy, buttery topping. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. an onion spread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. an onion spread. Exactly. It's like a caramelized onion spread. Mm -hmm. It has that taste. Mm-hmm. It does. Yeah, this is really good. I love this. I'm eating the whole thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so there it is, boiled onions. Tons of flavor, really nice consistency, without the hassle of the caramelized onions and the thyme. Uh, I, I really think that this is the way you do it. Boil your onions.